Hi and welcome to this uh, Chrome Enterprise tutorial with uh, Acer and Apps Events. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to install GAM in Google Cloud Platform. Now GAM is an environment that uh, allows you command line access to Google Workspace and to control pretty much every facet of Google Workspace from that command line. And if you install that command line inside Google Cloud, inside what's called Cloud Shell, you'll be able to access that from any location securely to manage your Google Workspace environment. So let's get started. Um, I've gone to console.cloud.google.com and I'm on the landing page here. And up in the top, I have an option to activate Cloud Shell, which I'm going to do just now. And um, now that I've got the Cloud Shell open, I'm going to open that in a new window, just to give me a bit more space to work in. So to uh, get started, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I need to install GAM. And if you do a quick Google search for GAM Wiki install, it will take you to this page here, which is the home page on GitHub for GAM. And you can go in and you can get a different, whichever particular version of GAM that you need for your environment. For me, because I'm going to be using the Cloud Shell, I'm going to use the Linux version. And so I'm just going to take the installation script here, copy that and move back to my Cloud Shell tab. Now that I'm here, I'm just going to paste that in and I'm going to get started following through the instructions to get GAM installed. Um, on this machine, I can't run a full web browser because I'm doing this inside the cloud. So I'm going to say no. And now that GAM is installed, I want to set up a Google API project for GAM. This will uh, activate the various APIs that I need to interact with my Google Workspace environment. So let's get started with that. And I'll put in my admin workspace credentials. Now I'm installing GAM and it takes you through the various steps that you need to use. It provides you with a, and some links for you to activate and get codes from that are part of the activation process for creating your API project and for later for activating and authorizing APIs. So in this case, what I'm going to do is just click on this short link here. And this will allow me to authorize this to make use of my account to create a project on my behalf. So I'm going to allow that. And then I'm going to take this code and I'm going to copy that just paste that code back in. And that's now creating a GAM project for me inside the Cloud Console. When it creates a project, it enables the various APIs that I need in order to interact with my Google Workspace environment. Now, to finish the authorization process, I need to get my um, authorization tokens that I need. So there's a link here that I can click on, uh, which allow me to get my OAuth credentials um, and create finish creating the project for this purpose. So I'm just going to click on the link and then follow the instructions that are listed underneath here, which is add it as a desktop app, uh, change the name if you want to, or you can keep the name that's given, uh, use the create button, and then copy the client ID back here. So. Let's do that now. Here I am back in Cloud Console and I'm just going to make this a desktop app. I'm happy with the name as it is. So I'll just create. And now I get my cloud, your client ID and your client secret from the Cloud Console. So I'll just copy that back to the shell, click and paste that in. And now go back for the client secret. Just so you know, these are obviously you don't want to have broadcast these on the internet. So um, uh, I'll be deleting this project afterwards and removing these keys. Now that that's me got my project set up. Now I need to authorize the, the GAM to perform these workspace management operations. So let's get started on that and it'll sign in and authorize those as me. You can enable different scopes for your um, APIs, so you can so we can have them all, 
or we can choose particular ones if we want to. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna leave the default on. If you're a reseller, you might wanna think about adding 19, which is the reseller API. But for me right now, I'm happy to continue just as they are. So I'm just gonna hit C. And again, I'm gonna follow this link and get the code. Signing in as me. These are all the things that we're now authorizing GAM to do on our behalf. So there's a lot of stuff in there. Let's allow those. And I'm going to copy the code, go back to my cloud shell, paste that in. And now I want to man, yes, I do want to authorize GAM. So let's for user and data settings. So yes, enter the email address of a regular Google Workspace user. So here I've got some, just another user off the domain that I have. So I'm gonna just put in my test user. Now what you'll find is that it'll fail this on the first time round. Um, because you have to authorize uh, these scopes inside the admin console. So now that I'm, now I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do that authorization. And that authorization can take some time to come through. So what I'm going to do is just click on this link to go to the, the admin console and authorize this application. So here's what I'm authorizing, the, the scopes. So I'm just going to authorize that. And this authorization might take a little bit of time to come through. But uh, let's just uh, try that again. So it's now authorized, it's now working, and uh, the GAM is now installed. And I just do GAM info domain. And it now tells me the information about my domain and that's GAM installed. So that's all you gotta do. That's installing GAM, that's all that's required. And uh, yeah, um, thanks for watching this quick tutorial from Apps Events and Acer.